gotta say, Tina. I got stuff to say about that. I am jazz. <laughs> what? I have to admit, I what do you? I got stuff to say about that. I am jazz. What is it? If people need to leave this little girl alone. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you why. She's got a bad enough life as it is. My God, this poor little girl was born a boy, but she knows she's a little girl. So she's a boy, she's a girl, and she's messed up in her head and shit because people are assholes and don't leave her the fuck alone. You know what? If I was a transgender and I was in school and somebody told me I couldn't use the boys room because I looked like a boy, because I was a, I looked like a girl, but I couldn't use the girls' room because I was a boy. I would whip my dick out and pee all over the fucking floor and say, there you go, have at it. It's not fair what they're doing to this little girl. This little girl, it's a little girl. She has feelings. She has this whole horrible life. And she's got the depression worse than me. At least I moved from the bed to the couch and watched TV. This day, this poor girl couldn't even get out of bed. What's wrong with you people? And then this asshole guy is obsessed with the little girl's dick and keeps calling the house and talking about the dick. I think this man wants to molest her. Why is he fixated on this little girl's dick? She's probably scared of dicks because she has one she doesn't want. Can you imagine how intimidating that would be? Yep. You got a dick and you don't want it? I wish I had a dick. I wish I had a bag of dick. What? I wish I had a bag of dick. What? Why would you wish you had a bag of dicks? Because I ain't even seen a live dick in five years. I want to see a dick. Let me tell you something. That little girl needs to go through her life. And you people making her feel bad about themselves are garbage. And I know most of you are them there born again Christians. So let me tell you something. How are you a good person following in the path of the Lord when you're alienating other people because of how they are? You're hypocrites. If I was that little girl's brother, I would hunt that guy down that's leaving those nasty messages and I would say, why are you so concerned with my sister's dick? And then you know what I'd do? I'd fucking take out a baseball bat and I'd rape him in the ass. That's what would happen. If that was my sister, oh man. You're practically given a license to beat anybody up you want to. Because all you got to tell the cop is they, they attacked my transgender sister. These poor deaf transgenders, why don't you people think about it? Yeah, these transgenders. Uh, <laughs> what? These transgenders, think about it. I don't think the female, the male transgenders give a fuck where they take a piss. But these female, the male transgenders, think about it. These poor little girls. And they're little girls. These poor little girls. They don't want to go into a men's bathroom. There's dicks in there. They got a dick they don't want. And they got a female brain. I would be terrified to go into a bathroom with a bunch of dicks. Well, no, I wouldn't. I'd probably like to go into a bathroom with a bunch of dicks. But what I'm saying is you think about the fear and the humiliation that these people got to go through when they're dressed up like girls. They look like girls and their brains, they, and they're girls. And they have to go into a bathroom where boys go. They're going to get raped. That's what they used to do back in the day. The football team used to rape these people. Are you sure? 
That's what it was like when I grew up. Sad day in America when this is an issue. This is an issue. This is a hot button issue. That's what they say on the radio. A hot button issue. It's an issue that shouldn't be an issue. I mean, I don't know. I'm a girl. I'll pee where I ever hit, man. Last week, she made me shit in the bag. I don't care where I pee. If I'm going to pee, I'm going to pee. I went in the men's bathroom before I peed. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, I've done that too. But you know what? I'm not a goddamn... I'm not a fucking little girl in puberty wondering what the hell is going on with my body. You know what that Jazz Jennings should do? If that guy keeps calling her house, because let's face it, the guy calling it her house is a pedophile. The guy is obsessed with her dick. The guy wants to rape her dick. He's a sick motherfucker. He deserves to fucking be whipped. He's obsessed with a little girl's dick. It's fucking disgusting. If I find out who you are, I'm going to beat your ass for being a pedophile because that's a little girl's penis. You have no right to talk about it. <laughs> that's why everybody hates us, Tito. That's why everybody hates us in the, in the whole world. Everybody hates Americans because this is what we do to people. Everything's fine. But we got fucking pedophile perverts calling this poor little tra transgender dude, chick, man, whatever, I don't know. Let him let live, that's what I say, man, I'm too old for this shit. We didn't have this shit back in my day, so that's why I don't know and I don't care. But anyway, we got this poor, this fucking pervert, you are sick, disgusting fucking pervert, obsessed with this per person's genitalia, calling their house, constantly talking about this child's dick. What is your obsession with this child's dick? You're a fucking pedophile, sir, and let me tell you something, if I find out who you are, I'm gonna beat you with the baseball bat, and I'm gonna rape you in the fucking ass. I will grow a dick to rape you in the ass. And I will too. There's hormones for that. Damn, to your pit. I am pissed off. This is a pedophile. These people are being harassed by a fucking pedophile. And there's no good place for pedophiles. It's disgusting. I support you, Jazz Jennings. I don't know much about this transgender thing. But I know that you're just a little girl trying to live your life and get your life in. And stop being so damn depressed. So what if you have a dick? Next time somebody picks on you because you have a dick, why don't you whip your dick out and hit him in the face with your dick? If I had a dick, I'd be hitting people with my dick left and right. And fuck you, have some dick. Bam! Wish somebody would hit me in the face with their dick. You're a sick old lady. I'm a sick old lady that ain't got no dick in five years. Probably since I stopped counting. You people need to leave this little girl alone. I messed up mine. I'll beat your ass and I'll get away with it. Don't just put me in the desert sisters for a fucking month. And give me lots of happy pills and then I'll come out and nothing will happen to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of them big old strap-on dildos that you get at the <laughs> What? I'm going to get a big old monster-sized strap-on dildo. You know the neighbor's going to hear this. I don't give a fuck. That bitch called the fucking dog called to my dog. The goddamn dog catcher was looking for my dog all fucking day. That's very stressful when your dog's a wanted animal. For something he didn't do? For something he didn't even do. But this is what I'm going to do to you if you don't leave that little girl alone, you sick, disgusting, pedophile pervert. I'm going to buy the biggest, thickest, longest strap-on dildo I can fucking find. I don't care if I have to have a special order. And then I'm going to get me a baseball bat. And what I'm going to do to you, sirs, is I'm going to fucking goddamn hunt you down. I'm going to beat the holy fuck out of you with that bat. And then I'm going to fucking turn you around and bend you over and pull down your pants. And 
I'm gonna anally violate you! And I'm gonna put pigtails and bows in your hair! And I'm gonna call you nasty. Anything else? Dude? That's what's gonna happen to the people! It's not the people that have the problem that are sick! It's the people who are harassing these people that are sick! And that's what's wrong with fucking America! It's supposed to be the land of the free and the home of the brave! She's free to live her life! Anybody's free to live their life however they want! Just because you born again Christians say you got touched by Jesus, that doesn't give you the right to harass other people. That doesn't give you the right to tell people how to live their lives. If you think they're going to hell for the way they're living their life, then what the fuck do you care? After you die, you don't have to see them again. Because you're going to heaven. And they're going to hell. But you want to know something? I think it's the other way around. That's what I think. But that the people who are hypocrites and harassers of the transgenders <laughs> and the gay and the libertarian, whatever you call it, what is it, the A-G-B-L-T, what's it called? L-G-B-T. L-G-A-B-T. What are you talking about, the Mormons? No, that's the F-D, that's the F-D-L-S, F-L-D-S. Fuck those people! <laughs> They're child molesters! Them FLDS motherfuckers. I just fucking, me and Karina had to go to the hospital because she bent over to tie her shoe and hurt her back. Because she's fat. That's not what happened. That's what happened. I read a, I read an article on them. And they're child rapers. I saw that show on Warren Jeff. I saw that show. What's it called? What's that show? Escaping Polygamy. It's sick and disgusting. You people don't have the right to have 50 wives when you don't take care of them. Look at that Cody Brown. He can't even afford the kids he got. Anything else you got to say? Yeah, if I was that married chick, I'd leave Cody Brown. Huh? And, I'm, and her daughter's a little bitch because her daughter don't have her back. What's that little girl's name? Somebody needs to slap her in the face with a dick. Any final words, Tina? What was I in on my speech about the transgender? You, you were naming, you said it was all, I think it's turned around. I think it's turned around, you know why? This is why. I think God cares about if you live your life as a good person and you feel bad for all the bad things you've done. Lord knows I feel bad for all the bad shit I've done. But I'm not going to hell or heaven. My, my parents are ghosts in this house. I'm going to live here when I die. I'm going to be a ghost with my parents. But who do you people think you are that you think you got the right to tell somebody how to live their life? You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. You all deserve to be slapped in the face with a dick. Is that it? I bet a Christian would get really mad if you slap them in the face with a dick. Are you know what? I'm going to buy a big rubber dick and I'm just going to start hitting ignorant people in the face with it. Are you done? I'm going to fucking strap it to my side and carry it with me. Because I got a felony. I can't carry anything. We're running out of time. Are you done? But I can carry a big giant dick and not go to jail for it. Are you done? Yeah, because I forgot what I was going to say. Because you sidetracked me. He texted me and said, can I bring you anything for your home?